Today, we are going to take up a lesson on organizational and administrative setup of health system in India at state and district level. Now we have introduction. States are largely independent in matters relating to the delivery of health care to the people. Its states has developed its own system of health care delivery independent of the central government. The central government responsibility consists mainly of policy making, planning, guiding, assisting, evaluating and coordinating the work of the state health ministries. The organization at the state level is under the state department of health and family welfare in its state headed by ministry and the secretariat under the charge of secretary or commissioner belonging to the cadre of Indian administrative service. Now we have state health administration. At present there are 29 states in India, its states having its own health administration. The organizational pattern of state health administration is headed by State Ministry of Health and Family Welfare with the appointment of one state director of health for the smooth conduct of the department. Some of the functions of state health director are listed below. Number one, studies in depth the health problem and need in the state and plan and scheme to solve them. Number two, provide curative and preventive services. Number three, prevents any outbreak of communicable diseases. Number four, make provision for control of milk and food sanitation. Number five, promotes of health education. Number six, promotes of health programs such as school health, family planning and occupational health. Number seven, supervises of primary health center. Number eight, establishes training for health personnel and number nine, to coordinate of all health services with other ministers of state such as minister of education, central health and voluntary groups. Now we have health system at the state level. The health subjects are divided into three groups, federal, concurrent and state. The subjects in the state list are the responsibilities of the state, including provision of the medical care, preventive health services and pilgrimages within the state. There are 640 districts in India based on 2011 census. Most of the districts in India are divided into two or more subdivisions. It's in charge of an assistant collector or sub collector. Its division is again divided in taluks in charge of a tasildar. A taluk usually comprises between 200 to 600 villages. The community block comprises of approximately 100 villages and about 80,000 to 1,20,000 population in charge of a block development official. There are village panchayats which are instructors of rural local self-government. The urban areas of a district are organized into town area committee that is in area with population ranging between 5,000 to 10,000. 
municipal board that is an area with population ranging between 10,000 and 20,000 and cooperation that is with population above 2 lakhs. The town area committees are also panchayats and they provide sanitary services. The municipal boards are headed by chairman or president elected by members. The following are the functions of municipal board. Number one, construction and maintenance of roads. Number two, sanitation and drainage. Number third, street lighting. Number four, water supply. Number five, maintenance of hospital and dispensaries. Number six, education. Number seven, registration of birth and date. Now we have the cooperation. The cooperation is headed by mayors elected by councillors who are elected from different wards of the city. The executive agency includes the commissioners, the secretaries, the engineers and the health officer. The activities are similar to those of municipalities on a much wider scale. Within each districts, there are six types of administrative area. They are number one, subdivision, number two, tessils or so-called taluks, number three, community development blocks, number four, municipalities and cooperation, number five, villages, and number six, panchayat. Now we have panchayat rows. The panchayat rows is a three-tier structure of rural local self-government in India linking the village to the district. It includes number one, panchayat that is at the village level, number two, panchayat samiti that is at the block level, number three, jilla parishad that is at the district level. Now we have panchayat at the village level. The panchayat consists of number one, the gram sava, number two, the gram panchayat. Then we have gram sava. It is the assembly of all the adults of the village which meet at least twice a year. The Gram Sava considers proposal for taxation and elect members of the Gram Panchayat. Now we have Gram Panchayat. It is the executive organ of the Gram Sava and an agency for planning and development at the village level. The population varies from 5,000 to 15,000 or more. The members of the panchayat hold offices for a period of three to four years. Every panchayat has an elected president that is Sarpanch or Sabhabati or Mukhya, a vice president and panchayat secretary. It covers the civic administration including sanitation and public health and work for the social and economic development of the village. Now we have Panchayat Samiti that is at the block level. The block consists of about 100 villages and a population of about 80,000 to 1,20,000. The Panchayat Samiti consists of serpents, MLAs and MPs residing in block areas, representative of women, saddle cars, saddle tribe and cooperative societies. The primary function of the Panchayat Samiti is to execute the community development program in the block. The block development officers and his staff 
give technical assistance and guidance in the development work. Now we have Jila Parishad, that is at the district level. The Jila Parishad is the agency of rural local staff government at the district level. The members of Jila Parishad include all heads of Panchayat Samiti in the district, MPs, MLAs, representative of Sedul Kas, Sedul Tribe, and women, and two person of experience in administration, public life, or rural development. Its function and power vary from state to state. Now we have healthcare system. Healthcare system can be categorized into the following manners. That is number one at village level, number two at sub-center level, number three at primary health center. Now we have at village level. At the village level, elementary services are rendered by village health guide, local dyers, Anganwadi workers, and accredited social health activists, so-called ASA. Now we have village health guides. Village health guide is a person with an aptitude for social service and is not full-time government functionaries. Village Health Guides scheme was introduced on 2nd October 1977. Functions of Village Health Guides Number 1. Provide treatment for common minor ailments. Number 2. First aid during accident and emergency. Number 3. Maternal and child health care. Number four, family planning. Number five, health education. Next, we have local dials. Most deliveries in rural areas are handled by untrained dials. The training for dials is given for 30 working days. Each dials is paid stipend of rupees. 300 during the training period. The training is given at primary health center, sub centers or maternal and child health center for two days in a week. And on the remaining four days of the week, they accompany the health worker to the village. During her training, each dias is required to conduct at least two deliveries under the supervision and guidance of health workers, ANM health assistant. So now we have functions of local dials. Number one, maternal and child health care. Number two, family planning. Number three, immunization. Number four, education about health. Number five, referral services. Number six, safe water and basic sanitation. Number seven, Nutrition. So now we have Anganwadi Waku. Under the Integrated Child Development Services, that is ICDS scheme, there is an Anganwadi Waku for a population of 1,000. There are about 100 such workers in its ICDS project. The Anganwadi Waku is selected from the community and she undergoes training in various aspects of health, nutrition and child development for four months. She is a part-time worker and paid an honorarium of rupees 200 to 250 per month for the services. So now the functions of Anganwadi workers. Number one, Maternal and child health care. Number two, family planning. Number third, immunization. 
Number fourth, education about health. Number fifth, referral services. Number six, safe water and basic sanitation. Number seven, supplementary nutrition. Number eight, non formal education of children. Next, we have accredited social health activists, so called ASA. One of the key components of National Rural Health Mission is to provide every village in the country with a trained female community health activist, that is ASA or accredited social health activist. Selected from the village itself and accountable to it, the ASA will be trained to work as an interface between the community and the public health systems. Then we have role and responsibilities of ASA. Number one, provide information to the community on determinants of health such as nutrition, basic sanitation, hygiene practices and healthy living. Number two, civil council women on birth preparedness, importance of cell delivery, breastfeeding and complementary feeding, immunization, contraception and prevention of common infection including reproductive tract infection, sexually transmitted infection and care of the young child. Number third, ASA will mobilize the community and facilitate them in assessing health and health related services available at village or sub-center or primary health centers such as immunization, antenatal checkup, postnatal checkup, integrated child development services, sanitation and other services being provided by the government. Number four, ASA will provide primary medical care for minor ailments such as diarrhea, fever and first aid for minor injuries. Number five, she will also act as a depot holder for essential provisions being made available to every habitation like oral rehydration therapy, iron folic acid double, chloroquine, disposable delivery kits, oral pills and condoms, etc. She will inform about the birth and death in her village and any unusual health problems or disease outbreak in the community to the sub-center or primary health center. Number six, she will promote construction of household toilet under total sanitation campaign. So now conclusion. States are largely independent in matter relating to the delivery of health care to the people. Each state has developed its own system of health care delivery independent of the central government. The organization at state level is under the state Department of Health and Family Welfare in each state headed by minister and with secretariat under the charge of secretary or commissioner belonging to the cadre of Indian Administrative Service. The health subjects are divided into three groups that is federal, concurrent and state. The subjects in the state list are the responsibilities of the state including provision of medical care, preventive health services and pilgrimage within the state.